Our first story is all about heavy metal, recycled metal that is. Let's join Scott Nelson as he takes us on an exclusive tour of SA Recycling, one of the most impressive facilities of its kind in the world, and it's right here at the Port of Long Beach. Hey, I'm Scott Nelson and today we're going to learn how SA Recycling, a metal recycling facility here at the Port of Long Beach, can turn this into that. Now somewhere in this twisted mountain of metal are appliances, cars, anything to do with recyclable metals. Now most of it will be exported internationally and some of it locally will be transformed back in the products that we use every day. Let's go see if we can take a closer look. I'm here with George Adams, president of SA Recycling. How are you doing, George? Doing great, Scott. Thank excellent, you. Excellent, excellent. George, tell us a little bit about the company and what are some of the typical things that you guys recycle? Any type of, of uh, item that you can imagine that's made out of steel, aluminum, copper, we recycle. But, you know, to, to pick some items, railroad cars. Uh, you know, the, a, a big railroad car, when it uses its life up, then we'll cut it up. Uh, cars, buses, trucks, uh, fence posts, chairs, even aluminum cans at our yards. I mean, because we have a lot of yards. It's a hub and spoke type thing that feeds into this yard. There's 40 locations total that are feeding into the ports. And where does it all come from? Any type of, of industry, any type of homeowner, any type of uh, the cities generate scrap just in, in, the, in the process of doing those things. They're talking about taking down that bridge. Obviously that bridge is all steel scrap. When that thing comes down, you know, we're, we're going to try and buy it. And we plan on buying it. You know, I'd love to see what happens when it gets here. Can you show us around? Absolutely. Come on, let's go. We'll take you out in the yard. Okay, the first thing that's going to happen when you go to buy scrap is you have to weigh it. You look at the truck that's on the scale right now and you can see all the trailers. You can, you know, those are all container trailers that were used for hauling containers into the port. Now they're scrap and right. now they gotta be cut up. And so, and that's just an example of different type of scrap metal that we buy. Those will go in, the shear will cut them up in little pieces. They'll go in, they'll head over to Korea or China and they'll come back as cars. This is all going to be turned into plate and structural steel, which is a heavy, good grade of steel. You can see they'll, they'll take them, they'll throw them up in the pile, he'll grab a hold of those things and, and just cut them up. And those trailers will turn into small pieces of steel in a matter of minutes. All right, so how does the material get to the steel mill? Okay, so to get to the steel mill, we got it, we bought it, we got it in the pile. Now we've got to get it into the ship and we've got to get it to Korea or to China. Right. So in order to get it into the ship, we'll, we'll dump it in a truck and then we'll dump it into a pan and the pan will raise it into the ship. All right, hold on. What is a pan? <laughs> All right, come on, I'll show you. Let's go. So this is a pan. A pan, right? I mean, I told you a pan. This pan will hold 35 tons of scrap metal. The truck will back into here. It'll, you know, the, the truck raises it, its bed, dumps the scrap in here. The crane will raise the pan up, and you know, it tilts back a little bit. Right. Raise the pan up, swing it over to the ship, lower down, it drops the front of the pan, and it drops the scrap in the ship. The crane is computer controlled. So once it does one push into the ship, then the guy can push a button and the pan will come right down to the same spot. The truck can dump. And, and when he pushes the button again, it'll go right back to that same spot again until he moves the crane. So how much is all this scrap metal worth? Okay, so there, there's different grades, but like we talked about the shredded steel. Right. Okay, shredded steel today, delivered into China in a bulk cargo, 320 bucks a ton. Uh, the bushling that we talked about over there, $10 more a ton, maybe 330 bucks a ton. All right, we all know how important it is to recycle. But why recycle scrap metal? Okay, look, you take this steel right here, okay? It's already steel. Right. Heat this up, turns into molten metal, right? I can make new steel out of it. But if I try and make new steel from ore, okay, from virgin material, now I've got to get a tractor. I've got to dig a huge hole in the ground. I've got to take that rock. I've got to crush it up. I've got to get coal. I've got to make coke out of it. I've got to turn the ore into pig iron. I've got to put it in a blast furnace. I've got to take and melt it down. By the time I get all done, I produce tremendous greenhouse gases. Making new steel out of scrap metal cuts greenhouse gases by 90%. And that's a huge thing. You know, today they talk about global warming. They take, talk about everything. Recycling is the greatest 
a thing you can do to reduce global warming. Warming because you don't have to, you don't have to do you don't you're not driving a tractor, you're not burning that diesel fuel, you're not digging the holes. Fantastic. I can go on and on and on. <laughs> wow, you know George, this whole process is simply amazing. Thank you so much for your time. It was a fantastic tour. Scott, you're welcome anytime. Fantastic. You guys come out anytime you want and we'll show you around. Well, we'll do it again. All right, you got it. Not only is SA Recycling vital as an exporter here at the Port of Long Beach, but they're also vital to the environment as well. I'm Scott Nelson and we'll see you next time. Apart from providing an invaluable environmental resource for Southern California, SA Recycling also takes extra care in treating the water that it uses for dust control. All of it is captured by aquifers within the terminal, cleaned and reused.